Hello everybody and welcome to Airbase Speedway. We are here with the 1950s NASCAR Cup Series and the drivers are about to start their engines. This is qualifier. Drivers, start your engines. Qualifier number one. We have two qualifiers. Top 21 make it. We're going to have 59 cars trying to make a 42 car field. We're going to have a five lap race. If you guys are new, make sure you smash the like button, smash subscribe, all that good stuff so you don't miss out on it. And I think there's somebody not driving in the back, so that's already bad news. Here's your qualifying order. I'm not sure why these guys don't have times, but Sloan, Austin, Adonovic, Giobaldi. Wow, none of these guys really did very good last race. I think Gutierrez did. Sterling may have done okay. So we got a lot of people that have a chance to make up for it. But we're about to go green flag racing. Greenwell has an issue, and so does Perez. Both of them are probably not going to make the race. They both have issues. Green flag is out for Sloan. The outside line of Austin by himself, basically, because because that car that missed those two that missed the race, it really spread out the field extra. Holy cow. Sloan already goes back for the lead, trying to pass on the inside line. You got to make a top 21. So right now, did they get the start yet? 28, 27. So right now, Walker is the last position. Cost ended up second place in the main event at Daytona Beach, but right now he's barely fighting for to uh, make this race as he is outside of the top 21 at the moment. He needs to get by the 21, which he battled Walker last time for Daytona, and he beat him to make the race, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I can be, though. Tim Pitch, he made it last race. He actually did pretty decent at Daytona. Three wide here. Harms, Harms trying to make it. Cost on the outside. Ellis pushing the 29 of Thompson. Tingley's in position to make it this time. Nice. Somebody's wrecking somewhere. I just heard something. I can't find it, but I heard it. Oh, it's Tim. He was in the wall. Where's your leader? Your leader Sloan is still leading it, followed by this dude. We got lap traffic in the way of Perez. He had an issue, and that's why he is not gonna make it because he's a lap down. I don't know why, but unless 10 cars or whatever blow up engines or something. Same thing for Greenwell in the 14. Both of those guys had issues. This battle for position to make the race is getting even more crazy. Thompson now might get knocked out of it. L24 has been fighting just to barely make the race. He has been struggling. He was so dominant, even at airbase last race. This one, he's barely probably going to make it. We have two laps to go for these guys. Oh, no way. He gets taken out. Does the 30 save it? 36 of 24. He might not have enough time to beat enough people to make it now. We know for sure Thompson is out. He cannot win. Or he cannot make the main race. I think 24 might be in position. The 30 gets spun of nice trailer. White flag is out for these back cars to see who makes it. It looks like Sloan is probably going to end up winning it easily. But we're going to keep an eye on these transfer spots. Liam right now is the last spot to not make it. As Tingley is in position to make the race. Holy cow. And Sloan ends up winning it, followed by Austin and all of these guys. Nice finish for all of them. Wow. 20th looks like it'll be Ellis and Tingley. Liam just misses out. He was catching up to Tingley, too. Dang. He finished 15th in the main race, but he looked fast at Daytona Beach. But I believe that is your official results. But I can be mistaken. Greenwell and Perez both end up a lap down. Yes, that is your official results. We'll go take a look at the next race. Here we are for race number two. Mowry, who won at Daytona Beach, has got the pole in the qualifier race. Holy cow, that guy's going to be fast, isn't he? I have a feeling he is. Let's take a look at the qualifying right now. We got Cost, the other Cost, the Sun. Richard, White Lion, Martinez is up here. He might actually make the race. We got uh, one of the King brothers. There's two of them. I want to say Chandler is in the 53 and Charles is in the 
52, but I could be wrong. We got nothing new. We got Rudder, Gordon, Jameson, McGill, and so on. Some of these guys did not make the qualifying time, which means they must have had issues during qualifying. Green flag is out for Mowry. I don't know why they don't start very close together at this track. But it gives the leaders a big advantage when the back cars don't keep up with them. Ooh, we got some new drivers up here, like nothing new. <laughs> nothing new, yet he is new. That is funny. And Mowry's going to lead him off with Arthur Richard behind him. Arthur Richard, is he just likes to get in wrecks, apparently. Karsh, that guy's new too, but he is struggling. I'm not sure why he's so far off the pace, but he's not in a good position. UMP40 was a guy I thought might be a championship pick. He might not make this race. I believe Boy is in the last position to make it. Maybe it's Oil Spill. I'm not sure. No, Oil Spill's not even in it. Connor Jacklin right now is the last transfer spot, but he just got passed. Oh, geez. So that leaves a 13 for the last transfer spot of Zekris. Man, that's going to be hard for me to remember. Four wide behind him. These guys are battling for the transfer spot really bad. Connor Jacklin passed him on the outside. He is now in 21st position. Do it on the 79s trying to catch up here. Connor Jacklin, I believe, is the last transfer spot still. Yes, he is. He might make the race. Train boy trying to make it. Do it trying to make it. Four wide trying to make it. And here comes UMP40 trying to pass four cars. Holy cow, we're already coming to the end of the race. Jacklin still holding on to position, but here comes DeWitt. It's going to be hard to see if he makes it or not. Let's see the leaders real quick just to see how they're doing up here. Two of them, Mowry and Richard, are gone. They're going to be really fast this season. Two laps to go for the back of the pack. Once again, DeWitt's trying to pass the 84 and Connor Jacklin in the 101 car, and I think he's going to do it. That puts DeWitt in position. Now the last one is him, so that means Trexius is probably the first car out. DeWitt in the 79 is the last car to be in it right now. The two car of Train Boy is in the wall. DeWitt is the last car to make it so far. They got one lap to go. UMP40 is going to try to pass him. Solis is up there trying to pass him. Mowry is going to end up winning the qualifier, it looks like. Then we'll follow it by Richard Pringles, man, nothing new. All of these guys, we're going to slowly go through the pack, and then we'll watch the battle to see who makes it. UMP40's not going to make it! Is he isn't... Oh, maybe he will if he gets a run on the outside! Holy cow, that was close! I think he got him! I think he got him. DeWitt does not make it. He's 22nd. Solis did not make it. Train Boy did not make it. King did not make it. Wright Jr., Traxus, Zekris, and Karsh did not make the main race. What just happened? That race looked like that was a lot more competitive, though. As we kind of randomize it either by number or by last name to see who gets in what heat race. Uh, that one looked like that was a very tough one. Feel bad for those guys. Top 21 made it. And once again, Mowry wins a qualifier. Actually, he didn't win the last qualifier, I don't think. He won the race, though. Wow. Let's go to the main event. Here we are for the main event here at Air Base Speedway. Larry Jones has got another pole position. He's really good at qualifying, isn't he? Drivers, start They're starting their engine. engines. We got Harms on his outside. Gutierrez, Austin, Ark. Nothing new, Pringle Man. Radonovic, Abel, and Gordon round out your top 10 as we go through the rest of the field. And we got people that struggled in qualifying. Once again, UMP40 struggled in qualifying. Sloan, where the heck is Bowery? That guy's usually fast. I don't know where he's at. I have not. Oh, he didn't qualify. Oh, geez. He's got a lot of ground to make up. Larry Jones going to lead him off with harms. 
We didn't have that many people not make qualifying last time. But uh, out of these 42 cars, Larry Jones going to lead him off. Gutierrez, Harms. I think Harms might actually be decent this season, if I'm not mistaken. Green flag is out for Larry Jones. He got wrecked out at Daytona Beach. He's wrecked there twice now in his two seasons there, two races there. Last season, 1949, he flipped. Dang. Got some craziness in this one. Harms trying to get the lead on the outside. Whoever leads this lap will get five bonus points. Not sure who's going to do it. Pringle man in the wall. That could be dangerous. Harms leads the lap. He got a big push from Austin. Austin ends up getting second that lap too. As we go through the field. Abel gets knocked out of the way by the six of Rado. Connor Jacklin actually qualified decent today. He's already probably in the top 10. He's 11th right now. We got these nuts. We got Cost. Waxen, Rudder, Sterling, McGill, Sonic for Life, LS, Brian Martinez rounding out 24th at the moment. Jameson, Jake. Whoa! Cropley knocked the 52 in the wall. That's going to allow everybody to get past. Sloan, Cost. We got a lot of people that made the race but didn't qualify very good in it, like Oil Spill and Walker and Mowry and UMP40. All these guys might be decent for the points. I don't know about Walker. I think he missed the last race. But UMP40 and Mowry are both in the top five in points right now, and they are struggling in this race. But luckily, it's 25 laps. That extra five laps this season might be enough to make it matter, to give him time to pass. Three wide for the lead, Larry Jones trying to take it. There hasn't been very, very many crashes this season here. Last season, it seemed like everybody was taking everybody out. This time, they're driving half to, oh, right when I say that, there was a couple of them. UP40's in the wall, that's unhealthy. Quaxon got taken out, oil spill, Roberts, so they're going to go a lap down because it's going to take them a while to get up to speed. They're going to get in the way of the leaders. Austin got nervous because of it, and he goes to the wall. Harms trying the outside line. I think the outside might be faster. I thought the inside was faster last season, but the outside looks like it's faster this season. But I could be wrong. Harms taps the wall. Here comes Larry Jones. Larry Jones trying to take it. There's another wreck of cars, I think. They're all getting back up to speed. Sloan, Martinez, Walker, they're all slow there. Your leader still harms. Now the back of the pack is starting to catch up. Nothing new, stuck behind a lap car three wide for third place. Wow, I said there was no wrecks and everybody started going crazy. Harms is still your leader, stuck behind Oil Spill who wants to stay on the lead lap. Larry Jones trying to go for the lead. Harms slides up high. Larry Jones takes the position. And he should ought to lead this lap. Your defending champion, Brian Martinez, trying to stay on the lead lap. Because he must have been involved in one of the wrecks. Oh, my goodness. This is allowed some of these guys. 24's in the wall. Some of these guys... It's allowed, really, to gain a lot of positions. Like, Cost. Cost is one who's gained a lot of positions. I think he started way farther back. So we go back up through the field. We got Chandler King in the 53. It's a new driver for today. And Larry Jones is in the lead. He just put Brian Martinez in the 91 and Eric Oilspill in the 82 a lap down. And now they're trying to put... Quaxon a lap down. Larry Jones has three lap cars between him and second place, but the battle for second is still going on as Austin's trying to get by Harms. Can Larry Jones finally capitalize after winning a pole position? He's been wrecked like a ton of races and just never there at the finish. He's still got over half a race to do it. Three wide. Ooh, almost contact. That could have been scary. That was oil spill there. Harms gets stuck behind the lap traffic. Austin now takes second place. 
Larry Jones has more lap traffic in front of him. Nothing new in Pringle Man rounding out your top five as we go through the top ten. Looks like rounding out your top ten is Ark and Abel. They're battling each other. Connor Jacklin still trying to get in the top ten. He's been 11th basically since the beginning of the race. McGill's trying to get by him. Cost started farther up there, but he's fallen back, I think. Uh, max cost, since both the costs are in this race. Gio Baldi in the 7. That 7 car was stronger last season, I think. But I could be wrong. UMP 40's making his way up. Now should be close to the top 25. And Mark Cost is now in the top 20. I don't know if they have enough time to actually make it up the field. Mori, your points leader, is in the wall. Dang, he's fast and clean air as we've seen at Daytona Beach, but he's struggling when it comes to having to pass cars. That's kind of how Sloan is, too. Larry Jones trying to put Walker a lap down. Tingley's now a lap down. Austin's right behind him. Now we got Harms, who finally made it by a couple lap cars, but now he's got the 23 in front of him. Pringle Man passed nothing new. Rado's trying to lap a car. We got a big battle back here. McGill's going to try to pass all three of these cars in one turn. That puts him in maybe 10th place, I believe, at the moment. Abel's trying to stay up there also. Connor Jacklin. There's just so much going on, I don't even know who to watch. They've been really clean this race compared to usual, though, that's for sure. Larry Jones stuck behind the 21. He also has your fastest lap, so unless he gets wrecked, Larry Jones should ought to win this race. Austin's trying to catch up. Tingley, Quacks, and all these guys blocking arms, and it's a lap Pringle man to catch up. Brian Martinez has been battling arms to try to get his lap back from that guy, but hasn't been able to do so yet. Harms needs to force a three wide and get past these guys if he wants a shot at the win. And like I said, that's what he does. Pringle man right behind him now. The 77. Pringle man wants to do good this season and I think he's actually doing all right. If I'm not mistaken, I think he finished decent in the last race and now he's battling for a top five here. Nothing new. His first race, he's already fifth. He's got three lap cars in front of him, three wide. Holy cow. He's going to try the outside line. We got any battles going on here? We still got this battle in the top ten. These guys have been battling like crazy. I'm surprised nobody's taking anybody out. McGill's trying to do it on the inside once again. They got a lap car. Of, oh, sorry, that's not a lap car. Arc is not a lap car. Lightning McMean's trying the outside of the 13. Connor Jacklin trying to go on the inside of McMeem. And this time by should be, where are we at? UMP40's lost some positions, it looks like. Joe Bali has too. Dang, I thought those guys were going to do better. Whoa, we got a big pack of cars back here. Colin Cropley in the O2. Larry Jones and the 21 of Walker, who Jones has been trying to outlap for a while, has caught this majorly huge pack. White Lion is going to probably get passed by Walker. We got nine laps to go for Larry Jones here. Austin is the next car on the lead lap, along with Harms Pringle, man. They all made it through. Nothing new stuck behind all those lap cars there. It's really hard to pass here. Larry Jones trying to make it by some of these lap cars now. Oh, no, they're wrecking in front of the leader. Oh, I knew something like that was going to happen, but they save it. Larry Jones scoots by four wide. NASCAR fan gets spun out. That's going to mess him up. I knew something like that was going to happen. I just thought Larry Jones would be involved because he usually is. Oh, my goodness. Four wide craziness. NASCAR fan barely getting up to speed. He's back to 38th. He might. Oh, that's a battle for last now as Robert's trying to pass him on the outside. 
Dang, NASCAR fan got spun out at the wrong time, that's for sure. Nobody's been wrecked, really. McMeem gets in the wall. Here comes Connor Jacklin. Making it by him. I believe that's for eighth place. Connor Jacklin's been making some moves, especially with this lap traffic here. Larry Jones has made it by the big pack, but there's still a few lap cars he's got to get by here in the way. Jensen Freddy. And Rudder and Jake here. We got six laps to go for Larry Jones. Big battles going on here. Three wide, that's dangerous. Rudder gets his lap back at the moment. Jones tries the outside. It's working so far. Rudder's trying to make position here. They're battling like maniacs. This is crazy. Is Austin catching up at all? He's almost caught up to the lap pack. Pringle Man trying to go for third place on Harms. He's right there. We got another pack of lap cars right in front of the battle for the top 10. Battle for seventh, actually. Seventh place for Rado. We got McGill trying to pass all cars on the inside, but he doesn't get the run coming out of the corner, probably. Yeah, maybe he does. A little bit of contact there between... Connor Jacklin in the eight of NASCAR fan. NASCAR fan a lap down. Should not be racing the leaders that crazily. Roberts gets in the wall. Now they got even more lap cars in front. Rado on the outside is going to pass another car. The 24th for position and outlap all these other guys if he makes them by. That puts him in sixth. Pringle Man not able to get by there yet. Austin not able to get by the lap cars that he's behind. Larry Jones has clean air and three laps to go at the line. Sloan is getting back up to speed. He might have gotten spun out again. Oh my goodness. Three laps to go for Larry Jones and like nothing in front of him. UMP 40's back in 20th. Cost back in the wall right behind Cost. That was Cost trying to pass Cost and Cost put Cost in the wall. Yep. I just said all that. <laughs> Tingley's in the wall. It's in front of Ark. Ark's been getting stuck behind all these lap cars and it's been costing him positions. Connor Jacklin trying to get by Gadir is on the outside. That's for seventh place. Oh my goodness, there's too much going on here. Three wide. These are lap cars. Still battling. It looks like Austin was able to get by. Pringles man was able to get by Harms. And where is Larry Jones? Whoa, lap car pits. Larry Jones comes to the white flag. White flag is out for Larry Jones. He's trying to outlap Sloan. He's got one more lap to confirm his win. As we look in the back, Austin is still going. That car in the pits is probably going to end up last place because nobody else has pit. White Lion trying to make some moves here. And Pringle Man. And the rest of the field, the 53 is a little slow there. And Larry Jones is going to win the Air Base 200 in 1950. Holy cow. Second place is going to go to Austin back here in the 33 car. Third place is going to be a photo finish. I think it was Harms. Harms, then Pringle Man. Fifth place goes to Nothing New. Sixth goes to Rado. Seventh goes to Gadiras. Eighth, no, eighth goes to Ark. Ninth goes to McGill. Tenth goes to McMeme. Eleventh is Abel. What happened to uh, Connor Jacklin ends up twelfth? I don't know what happened. He must have got stuck behind Tinkley back there. That might have messed him up. Wow, that was an interesting race. That was pretty crazy. Larry Jones now wins. I, I want to say one of these... Second through fourth guys are probably going to be the points leaders after this. I don't think Rado's up there in the points battle at the moment. And a lot of other guys that were up there, like uh, Mowery and them, did not do very good this race, I don't think. Where's Mowery at? 
Mori was the uh, points leader. He was the first car on the lead lap, 21st. Let's take a look at the official results. All right, guys, here is your official results. Larry Jones led 20 laps. That's the most laps to win the race. He started first and won. Harms did lead five laps, so that's good. Five bonus points for Harms. He only lost 15 points on Jones. As we go through the field, we kind of went over all of these guys. Holy cow, L24 gets your hard charger award, 40th to 13th. He didn't have a qualifying time. I think when they're too slow on qualifying because they don't get going fast enough, they don't get a qualifying time. So I think that's why he didn't have one. And it made him have to push his way to the front. That was kind of interesting there. Or they wreck during qualifying, but I don't think that many people had issues during qualifying. Uh, as we go through the rest of the field, we can look at the bottom now. What happened to UMP40? He ended up... Oh, sorry, that's not the bottom. That's 20th. Sorry, D's Nuts was the car that pit at the end. I got, like, scared for a second. I was like, what the... Something crazy must have happened. Uh, D's Nuts also gets your headache of the day. Started 14th, ends up 42nd. I don't know what happened, but he had a pit, and that lost him two positions. Ting Lee, 41st, Roberts... These guys struggled. NASCAR fan, where did he go? Oh, right here. I'm blind. He uh, got spun out, but he did pass a few cars. Brian Martinez struggled. What the heck? How did he get 39th? Oh, yeah, he was involved in wreck, too. I forgot about that. Got spun or something. Wow. Cropley. And so on. Point standings. Point standings are Harms is your leader with Pringles Man 14 points back. I think Pringles Man beat Harms, didn't he, or did he lose to him? No, Harms beat him by, by one position. Wow, Tim Pitch is third. Mowry is fourth now. As it says he has a DNF. When did he DNF? Okay, that's weird. Cost. Then we got Gutierrez, UMP40, Rado, Arc, Jacqueline rounds out your top 10 in points, Abel's 11th. Remember, though, that 12 car was strong at the end of the season last season. So, Larry Jones, who won this race, is 13th in points after a DNF. He definitely DNF'd at, the, at Daytona. And we have 59 drivers. 52 of them have made the main events. And, ooh, some of them are struggling majorly. Some of them that have only made one race are doing actually fairly decent, though. Uh, the best car to only make one race is Nothing New, who finished fifth place, I believe. That puts him 25th in points already. How many points back is he, though? He's only 165. That's only one race behind. And he only missed one race, so he could have a shot at it. It's going to be hard, though. The competition's strong. Anyway, we've done 31 laps somehow. Yeah, because there you do six for Daytona Beach. Next race is the North Wilkesboro 125. We are going 16 laps at North Wilkesboro, and it's going to be our fastest race. 16 laps is not going to take too long. Make sure you go to that. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, all that stuff. If you're not signed up you want to, they're still open. You can still join. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment who you think driver of the day is.